I've been nursing a sore back for a few years now, but it wasn't until about four weeks ago that the pain and stiffness became more regular and it started affecting my sleep. That's because I've had to get up 30 minutes earlier just to get my underwear on. So I booked in to see an osteopath to get it fixed. I went into the appointment feeling like an old lady and I came out feeling like a newbile teenager. It turns out one hip had been higher than the other and my ankle and knee ligaments were out on the same side due to other old injuries that I just not dealt with properly. I went away with some exercises and I had a follow-up appointment booked for the next week. When I went back on Friday, the guy asked me to bend down and touch my toes. As I bent over, he said, oh dear. I said, what's up? And he said, I think me sorting out your hip has made your butterfly wonky. I said, it can't have done. I got that tattoo over 10 years ago. Turns out he was right. The butterfly tattoo on my lower back now looks like it's taking off. I didn't realize I'd been ignoring the warning signs for so long. I guess I knew something wasn't right, but instead of paying it attention and getting someone to help me sort it out, I just carried on. I avoided activities that were painful and I've been doing things to compensate. And I think this is so typical of many of us in business as well. We know something's not working right, that maybe we're not performing as well as we could, and yet we just limp along, settling for less. This has been a valuable lesson for me this year, I'm not going to ignore things that I know aren't working as well as they should be. I'm going to get some expert help in to resolve the issue and to coach me on how to manage it better for the future. If you find something holding you back, if you know there's something you can do better, think about what it's costing you not to get it fixed. Consider what opportunities you're missing out on because of it and how much more successful you'd be if everything was working. And then, Take a second and remember the lesson of my crooked tattoo.